this is Not a Spring Chick, and today we're going to talk about voting, elections, and does your vote really count? So many of you have probably heard that Obama's been declared the winner. Now, I don't know how ahead AP is, but you know, I am old enough to remember when Mondale was declared the winner. And, oh yeah, and in history, was it Dewey declared the winner and Truman went to bed thinking that Dewey had won the election? Well, sometimes news, as in politics, gets ahead of themselves. So, now here's the... I don't know. It's, it's like they get ahead of themselves. But, when it comes to voting, here's the fun part. I don't know about you guys, but you probably have seen, or have received, of course, tons of mail. I've saved these. And you'll get to see how we do something constructive with them at the end. And you've received tons of phone calls. Now, my favorite phone call is when someone somebody called me up to see if I was going to support a candidate. Well, first of all, I didn't even know who the candidate was. And then I asked them, I said, well, can you tell me who the candidate, tell me their name, the position they're running for, if they're Republican or Democrat, and what they stand for. And the person on the other line, this is the pollster, said, um, well, I'm from Iowa. And then they hung up. So it always makes you wonder, how good are those polls anyway? But here's a few things that I got in the mail. So you can you can just laugh at this one. Okay, here's your ballot guide. Now, a lot of times when people don't know how to vote, they'll go to the local newspaper. They'll get things, I don't know, from groups they belong to us to telling them, okay, here's the scorecard. This is how you should vote, right? Here's the featured candidate. And according to this group, these are all the people that you should vote for. Hmm. Well, I don't know how partisan that one is. Here's another one, Voter Information Guide. Oh yeah, this one is also telling you who you should vote for. Oh, what else does it say? Oh, these are Superior Court this, Superior Court that. Oh, Propositions. Hmm. Now here, I love this part. Now they don't know if our household is Democrat or Republican. Or do we have both? This one's for Rod Wright. Of course, this just comes in the mail. And it tells you he's had $74,000 in oil and gas contributions. And I love how they sling this out. Oh, there's Rob Wright. Oh, he's earned our vote. Yes, shows you all his endorsements. Now, I'm just curious, how much does it, or how much, how important is it to you to find out who they're supported by? I know when Schwarzenegger was running, and it was the teachers and the firefighters, sometimes it depends on who you align with. But other times, when you know they're up to an agenda, knowing who they support may mean their, your lack of support for them. Oh, something else from Rod Wright. Oh yes, gun control also gets into that. And then Don Deere comes, yes. She can kind of see some of the mail that we're getting. Oh, and here's one, our local congresswoman. She's going to tell you who you should support. Hmm. There's also people that try to align themselves with other candidates. This one with Jake. Well. JFK. This one also tells you who you should vote for. And here's the funny thing is, whether you're Republican or Democrat, I found out by go to, going to the polls that if you're a registered Republican or you're a registered Democrat in this primary, at least in California, you can vote nonpartisan Democrat or nonpartisan Republican. What is that? So apparently some of the parties have decided that even if you're Republican or Democrat, you can help determine who's going to win in their primary. I know, isn't that kind of strange? And of course you're supposed to have registered for that. Oh, here's one for Damali. Oh yeah. As you can see, we're doing something very constructive. We're recycling it. Oh, don't make a mistake. Don't you love it when they tell you not to make a mistake? So I found out today I can vote in seven different languages. I could vote to determine the Democratic candidate, the Republican candidate, the Libertarian candidate, if they have one, the Green Party. I know. So why do you have a party anyway? Isn't that kind of interesting that parties will help you determine who their candidate is, even if you're not typically with their party? Oh, here's some more. Know. After a while, it just makes really good um, recycling paper. Oh, here's another one. So you could probably guess that, let's see, who is this? Rod Wright, Jamali. It's probably a pretty heated contestant because most of this junk mail is for these guys. 
And I love when you get to vote in a different language because, well, actually in seven different languages, it's English, Spanish, Chinese Cantonese, Chinese Mandarin, Japanese, let's see, Viet, uh, Vietnamese, Filipino. And it always makes me wonder is that if you have to vote in a different language, how can you read all those materials they're sending you or, listen, or understand everything? Because everything I got, it was all in English. Oh yeah, here's one. Election Day's June 3rd reminds you who supports whom. And the part I love, okay, here's the primary election, your official voter information guide. I always like to see who's voting for what, because you know everything's really going to be in the fine print. And I love, here's a Republican ballot, here's a Democratic ballot. And my favorite part is when you vote, and, oh, there it is. Oh, no, yes, I did vote. <laughs> I know you're used to me dropping things all the time. Yes, I voted. There's an noise stick. Let's see. <laughs> Here's my favorite part. Whether you're Republican or Democrat, and your vote says Republican or Democrat, they have... This is my favorite part. Oh, nonpartisan. Because there's nonpartisan things, so... Even if you think you're Republican or Democrat, there's still nonpartisan things on here. We're supposedly, well, I guess it's not supposed to make a difference, huh? Poll watchers, oh yeah, you're not supposed to poll within 100 feet. But here's my favorite of all. Pot holders. Yes. I don't know what the candidates are coming to, or if somebody's just a really good salesperson. But I held on to these pot holders just long enough to vote, but I don't know. Will they make it in the recycle bin? I don't know. Maybe we should just use them. Well, maybe that's what they were thinking. Well, whether you're right or dear, they may be hanging around for a while. So this, so this is not a spring chick on voting. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow.